As the rest of our school aged kids head back into the classroom today, there might have been some changes to how their day is going to work. Yes, different bus schedules, different start times, different lunch periods. Much of that is because there is a massive shortage right now of support workers for schools. We're talking about the bus drivers, the food service workers, custodians and more. Yeah, and as Nick Monticelli reports, school districts are getting creative while desperately searching for more people. We check the oil, we check all our fluids, we make sure there's nothing leaking or broken. It is one of those jobs when you're up before the sun is. But despite the hours, Utica Community Schools bus driver Crystal Maxwell loves it. What she doesn't love is the massive shortage of school support workers, including bus drivers. We all are driving more hours. Um, they changed the bell times so that we can get to and from every school. We're not just talking about bus drivers, though. All support staff, food service workers, custodians, para pros, the list continues. We'll keep a tight uh, uh, rein on it and make sure that close eye to make sure that we're uh, able to uh, function as we move forward. This issue is not unique to Utica schools. It's a problem throughout Metro Detroit and the entire nation. It's a huge deal for us. Dr. Richard Machuski is the superintendent of Troy schools where the biggest need is custodians. Our ability to clean our buildings, especially now during during the pandemic, is so important. It's one of our key mitigations. Uh, uh, strategies that we use. They're paying overtime and adjusting schedules for now. But I think anything beyond a month right now, we're going to really struggle, as were others in the area, a struggle to just maintain uh, normal day to day operations. Now, with businesses or maybe a factory, you could maybe shut down a production line or shorten your hours like restaurants have done, just closed on certain days. Schools, they can't do that. They've had to get creative. And we've also offered up opportunities, and many of our uh, employees have taken advantage of it, of working in a different, um, a different uh, area of the organization. So you may be a bus driver in the morning, but at lunchtime you may be a cashier. The situation is so different, UCS hosted a job fair just for support staff positions, trying to attract new hires. It helped. 50 people applied. But what's challenging for all districts all over Metro Detroit is showing people how important these jobs really are. Many times the bus driver is the very first person and the very last person the child sees. And that makes it, it sets a child's day. Uh, the food service worker, if, if, if you're in breakfast program and so forth, that may be the first meal served to the child that day. And so you, there is, once you're in and you understand uh, the meaningfulness of the position and what you're doing for students, it, it, it pulls you in. And that's why Maxwell gets up before the sun. Her job is the bright part of her day. I love my job. You, I make a difference every day in, in one of my students' lives. I'm Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News Today.